let's examine how to solve the blending problem that we just saw um, set up as an LP problem. Let's examine solving it now in Excel. Okay, so we're going to minimize the cost. Uh, we have different numbers of pounds of the different feed types, one through four, and we're going to have all these constraints. I've kind of set up a matrix here um, to fill in the values for it. Here are the constraints here as well. Uh, so our weight or our, our total number of pounds needs to be 8,000 and then um, we have different uh, required percentages of the corn, grain, and minerals based off of that. So we need 20% uh, of the mix to be the corn. That gives us 1,600 or just take 20% of the um, 8,000 pounds. And then you can just copy that down if you lock the reference to the 8,000 pounds. Just copy that down and it will take the 15% of the 8,000 pounds and the other 15%, giving you the 1,200 and the 1,200 as your total amount available. And we need at least that much of our corn, grain, and minerals within our mix. Uh, now, uh, amount available, we need the total number of pounds to be 8,000. Notice the coefficients for each of those variables is just 1, 1, 1, and 1. And um, this is a great question to use the sum product call on, where we do the sum product of the uh, variable amounts which we're going to solve later, uh, times by these coefficients here. Okay, and again we'll find these variable values after when we do solver. Now uh, as we fill in our coefficients, they're the corn, it's going to be 0 0.3 times the x1, 0 0.05, 0 0.02, or 0 0.2, and 0.1. So 0 0.3, 0 0.05, uh, 0 0.2, and 0.1. And then again, we can just do our sum product or just copy that down if we lock our reference to the uh, numbers of pounds of feeds. Uh, and then just keep going. 0.1 is this guy and so on and so forth. So 0 0.1, 0 0.3, 0 0.15, and sorry, 0.1. Same thing, copy down that sum product call. I'm just copying it and pasting it by the way. So I just control C, control V here. Uh, and then um, last one here, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, and 0 0.3, uh, again comes from this constraint right here. And then um, again, same thing, control C, control V to copy that down again, because I locked the reference to the numbers of pounds of feed, I can just copy that whole thing down or wait to do the amount you just copy it here at the end. Okay, so I'm ready to put this into solver and go solve for this minimum cost. Sorry, I'm almost ready. Forgive me. One last thing. Um, my total cost is going to be um, each of the weights here, the numbers of pounds times by the cost per pound. Quickest way to do that, another sum product, sum product of those guys with those guys. And there we go. Hit enter. Now I'm ready to feed this into solver. So go into data, go into solver. And now I want to take my total cost here and minimize it subject or by, sorry, by changing these numbers of pounds of feed. So B7 through E7 and add my constraints. Uh, the first one, this guy has to be exactly equal to the 8,000 pounds. Add that. This guy needs to be greater than or equal to the 1600, add that, and so on and so forth. Little note here, if you have all of your used here greater than or equal to your available, you can actually skip a step. So you can highlight more than one cell at once to save yourself some time if they all have the same symbol. So I'm gonna do that for my last two here. I'm gonna highlight those two greater than or equal to um, these two. And Excel will infer that it'll match the F13 with the H13 and the F14 with the H14. Click OK. Uh, simple XLP. Always make sure your non, uh, your unconstrained variables, or sorry, your, yeah, your unconstrained variables are non-negative. We're always dealing with quantities in these problems right now, so they're all non-negative. And click Solve. And definitely generate your reports here. Okay. Nice one to look at, it's the sensitivity, so let's just have a quick look at that right now. 
um, this guy here. Uh, I'm just going to do a short follow-up video on the sensitivity report generated here. Uh, but yeah, check that off every time you do your solver solution now because it's nice to look at these sensitivity reports. There's also a limits and an answer report we could look at too. Okay, that concludes the video using solver to solve this uh, blending problem. Uh, and just going back here really quickly, sorry, it almost concludes it. Let's have a look here. So here is our optimal mix. 4,500 pounds of feed 1, 2,000 pounds feed 2, none of feed 3, and 1,500 pounds of feed 4 to have a minimum cost of $1,950. Thanks.